everybody. How are we all? Hope you're all doing well. It's going to be a little bit quiet this end, apart from my annoying voice over the top. So I thought we'd try something a little bit different. So if you've bought the 908 stuff like that and you're wondering, I'd really like to make it a bit more personal, you know, like make it mine. Well, this is where you need to be. This is the basics on how to skin the T908 and get it in game. Alrighty, Brownie's in. <laughs> Matt, Matthew, Hell, Alyssa, Nightbot, of course, Michael, what's up, man? I sleep with the nightlight. <laughs> yeah, we know, mate. You know, it's just, it's what you grow up with, isn't it? Alright, so if you haven't already, there are links in the description if you want to skin along. Now, this is by no means an expert course on how to use Photoshop, because I am not. Nor is it the same for Paint.net. We're probably going to stumble our way through Paint.net because it is free. And I don't use it a heck of a lot. But it will give you the idea. It's more so there are plenty of tutorials, guys, on how to um, use Paint.net and Photoshop and stuff like that. So just search it up on YouTube, guys. You can't go wrong. This is just for my viewers and you guys. If, said, if you've got this truck and you want to know how does Kiwi do that? It's easy. It's basic. Follow along. Can't go wrong. Fat boy gaming's in. Aussie Kenworth country. Yeah, she's doing all right, man. She's doing all right. A bit sore. I caught a sore hand. Her left knee, and I think a uh, right. I think it's her right foot. I honestly can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's all right, man. She's all right. Just the local shops where she is out there at Brown's Plains. She um. She thought she was on the last step. Long story short, she wasn't. She took a tumble. Bad lighting, etc., etc. Any hoozel. So this is where we're at. ETS2 Mods Studio. The most important part of skinning. You will need this. And down here. So I've found a few videos. And if I remember, I'll link the videos that I watched how to get mod trucks into ETS2 Studio. This saves a lot of heartache. So what you need to do is if you've got this, follow me, and go to Options, Truck Database. Now, we want to edit a truck, so we're going to select the T908 and go Edit. So everything you see here, the truck name can be whatever you want it to be. That is what the skin will show up in the paint shop as. So you can, you can call it my big red wheelbarrow if you want, it doesn't matter. And then you've got the truck internal name. This has to be... Letter perfect. So Ken W908. And the author, you can put it down as yourself if you like. I put it as RTA because it's RTA's truck. And then following over here, internal name. So cab underscore A, which is basically the day cab. Uh, then you've got the flat top sleeper. And then under that, would be the uh, like the integrated sleeper without the hat on it, and then the integrated with the hat, if you like, the stand-up sleeper. So if you copy that, letter for letter, and then save. That should allow you to have the T908 saved in the database, and you'll understand as we get a little bit down the track why that is. So like I said, it's not it's not going to be the be-all, end-all of tutorials. It's just for you guys that don't know how to do it and you've wondered how to do it, this is how you do it. So if you've got all that, we should be right. So we can close all that. We can we can probably close it out. We'll leave it, leave it running in the background. Now if we go down to Photoshop, this is some of my existing stuff. So I'll, sort of, I'll break it between... Um, Photoshop and Paint.net as, as best I can. Obviously, I'm going to struggle with Paint.net, but I thought, bugger it, why not? We will struggle together, and we can try and work it out. All right, so you want to go Create New. Now, if you're using Photoshop, this is the utmost important. Sorry, Kiwi just had to uh, <laughs> burp a little. All right, so with 4096 pixels... 
by 4096. It has to be 4096 by 4096, otherwise it'll turn up, turn up in game looking like vomit all over your truck. So that is very important. So we'll pause there for a minute. You can grab those. We can call it, well, you can call it whatever you like, basically. Just for short, create new. So this is where you end up with Photoshop, and you want to go to File, Open. And wherever you have your template stored is where you need to go. So if you've paid for this truck, you will have the template. It comes with it, guys. Um, the Kiwi's just got to find his. Nope. I knew this would happen. Uh, templates. And we want the T908, and we want... Which one do we want? We'll go to the C and D cab, which is basically the stand-up sleeper. So if you wanted the um, flat-top sleeper or the day cab, it's this one here, AB underscore Atlas. And there we have it. So that is our template for the T908. Now, it will look pretty similar in paint.net as well. Pretty, pretty similar. So what we can do just quickly for you paint.net people is... I've been having troubles with my mouse all bloody week. We can open paint.net. So if you've got paint.net, this is what it looks like. Let's have a little stumble here. So we want to open again wherever your template was stored. We want to open that again. And there is your template in paint.net. And if my mouse would keep working, it would be right. So get that open for you paint.net peoples. Photoshop. All right. I'm going to struggle with this mouse. So this is your background layer. You cannot change this. So if you want to build on this, you need to come down to the bottom here, add a new layer. This will be the base color of the truck. So whatever the colour of the truck, this is where you go to. This is how I do it. There's probably, you can go down to paint bucket and do all this sort of stuff. But this is how I do it. This is what I'm comfortable with. And it's just the way I do it. So left click, drag over the top. So holding mouse one, hang on. It's not going to play my game because my mouse is playing it. So holding mouse one, your left mouse button. Oh. Just bear with me for a sec, guys. <laughs> Goodness sake. Hang on, let's go free transform. No, hang on, it's not going to let me do that. My bloody mouse keeps cutting out on me all the time. So, start in the left corner, hold mouse one. We're up to a flying start. We're close enough there, aren't we? No, we're not. All right, whatever. It's not working for me. Oh, this mouse is going to do my head in. Chains in. Chains in. All right, let's just try this again. Oh, this freaking mouse, I tell you. I do apologise, guys. This could end up being a long stream. So back down, make a new layer. So if you've got that layer up, for argument's sake, and you do something on here that you don't want, just come down here to the little trash can, and you can delete it. That's the way to go. Back up here. Now, I'm definitely on the right tool, aren't I? Oh, finally. So, we're into it. That's what I've been trying to do the whole time. Now my mouse has stopped working again. All right, so now we've got that whole image highlighted. Right mouse, you want to go fill. We want to select color. Now, this will be where you select your color. You can do it off to the table on the right-hand side, as soon as my mouse wants to start working again. So, depending on what color you want your truck, This is where you do it. So, for argument's sake, you want a red truck, you go red. You want a white truck, etc., etc. All your colours down here is deleting the trash can, basically. And it is, man. It's basically an undo. Uh, with Photoshop, you can control Z, which is basically the actual undo button. Deleting it's just the, the easy way out, basically. So, if we want a black truck, we'll make it black. Press OK, press OK. That has covered our template. So as soon as I can get this mouse to work, so we right click on it, 
deselect. That'll unhighlight it. Then we come back down. Hang on, I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way here. So I've got a bit more, a bit more space. All right. So we want to come back down here. Oh, this mouse, I tell you. We're going to add a new layer to it. But before we do that, click back on layer one and hover over the top of your layer one if you're going to do multiple layers. And double click on it and just write base color. Or I just call it base. So I know exactly what I'm building and, and where I'm at. So while we're still on base, you see up here you've got opacity. So we want to just bring the opacity down to, you can take it all the way down if you like, just so you can see um, the template behind it. Basically, it's, lo it's like watering it down so you can see where you're actually painting. And this is where we build from. So our layer two is nothing. So this is where we build from. Ron's there. Did I say day to Ron? I don't know if I did or not. If I didn't, how are you, Ron? Please do some more trucking. We will do some more trucking in. But for now, we're doing some skinning stuff. Because people have been asking and people want to know. So... Paint.net catch up. So we're on that step with Photoshop. So we'll go to paint.net. Let's see if we can stumble our way through this. Alrighty. Yeah, I've got to remember how to drive this. Where's all my layers gone? Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Just bear with me for a sec, guys. It's normally down here. I don't know where it's gone. All right, so we might have to go up to File. Uh, we'll go to Layers. We want to add a new layer. Where's the little doohickey gone? So I did say we we're going to stumble through this, guys. Where the hell is it? I don't understand what's going on. I did say we were going to struggle. There's normally a little little box thing down here on this side. It has all your layers and everything. I oh, don't know. We don't want that. Let me zoom in that far. Like I said, I'm a complete novice when it comes to paint on it. I had all this out and I actually did a small little skin. I think I know what's happened. No? Where the hell has it gone? Oh my goodness. I did say we're going to work through this together. Can't even get a bloody damn paint on here. Uh, just bear with me for a second. Are you using paint.net, Michael? Or? Or using Photoshop. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. I've never had this problem. I've never ever had this problem before. It just normally shows up straight away. All right, just hang on a sec. Let's try this again. Let's try. Uh, where are we? I don't know why it's doing that. Come on. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen on stream, isn't it? Yeah, we want to open. And we want CD Atlas open. And there's normally... I honestly don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So if you're using paint.net, have you got a little layer window down here? Like this one. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's zoom out for a minute. So it's not so in your face. So it's got to be up here. Uh, so you've got that little window down here, Mike. I don't know where the hell. 
Am I going freaking blind? <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know. I don't know. Makes it a bit hard to build a scheme when you can't see what you're doing. I've never had it do this before. Okay, we can't even show you the basics because he's too basic. <laughs> that is freaking huge. Why is it open to that? It's so huge. Crazy. All right. I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know what it's called. In view. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom window, actual size. Uh, layers, layer frame. Flip horizontal, no, we don't want to do all that. Layer properties is F4. Adjustments. I honestly don't, I've never had this before, never. Never, 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 never. Oh, yeah. So what do you say? Page layout. What's page layout? I'm sure you guys can work out paint on that. Because <laughs> I freaking can't. All right, what have we got here? Paste. Print. We don't want to print it. <laughs> Nothing to print yet. <laughs> Oh my god. Where the frickin' hell is it? This is crazy. Alright, maybe we should come back to. <laughs> maybe we should go and watch a tutorial on how to use paint.net. <laughs> it's opened it so frickin' huge. This is absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. I, I honestly don't know what the hell is going on. It's full screen with quarter color box overlapping my template. Okay, okay, okay. But you've got the little layers box. So you basically just build on it the same as what you would with Photoshop. Kiwi on the coast. Hey, go, man. So I'll have to, I'm going to have to come back to that because I honestly don't know what's going on with paint.net. I've never had it do that before. I'll come back to it in a minute, guys. I'll come back to it in a minute. So back to Photoshop. So we have our layer two. This will be where we put our stripes and stuff. Now, control and the plus and minus key at the top of your keyboard. We'll zoom you in a little bit. And holding control in your scroll wheel, left and right, take it off, up and down. So on and so forth. So there's many, many ways you can build on this. Many ways you can build on this. We can use our polygonal a lasso tool to build shapes. I'll give you a quick example if you like. So left mouse click, it draws you a line. Hold shift down, that will give you a straight line. So you can come along. Now one thing I have noticed, this part here is the back wall of the sleeper. And this part here is a little fairing on the back of the. But if you come across on the angle, I noticed it more so with paint.net as well. If you come across here on the angle, it'll separate those two um, two layers, basically. They're, they're always off. I don't know why it does that. So if you want to come on across in the angle, I suggest you keep it here. And then you can come back in this way. It is a it is a pain on the ass. Or you can just go straight line across. It'll, it'll work at straight line fine. So again, holding shift for straight lines. Left mouse click where you want to stop. And if you're still holding shift, it'll give you a perfect 45. So you can come back. So if you let go of shift, you're free to go wherever you like. And you can come back up here. This is just a basic way. And as soon as you get that little circle, left click again. Now you can right click on it, 
stroke. Now, stroke is basically a layer of color around the outside of the shape. So two pixels is just just enough to show through. So for for the sake of it, we can go three like so, and this will be the color of the stroke around the outside. So we've got a black truck. We can have this tealy color, or we can have a red, or we can have a silver. So if we go, if we go red, and press OK, and press OK, now that's stroked the outside of it. It's still highlighted, so if we right click on it again, and go fill, yes, this is where you can select your color. So go to color, color if you want to change it. So black truck, red stroke in the outside, this will fill the inside. So you can go white, a bit, maybe a bit of silver or something like that. So we go OK and OK. And there we have it. And if we can come back down, hover over the top of it, and hit deselect. Might just have to get you to make me one. <laughs> It's quite, a, it is easy, man. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with my Photoshop. I really don't know. I don't understand. Sorry, not my Photoshop, my paint.net. I, I honestly don't understand. I might, what I might actually do is I'll get it sorted. So I do apologize to those that are here for that. Um, I'll get it sorted and I'll do a basic skinning tutorial with paint.net. Basically to tag on to the end of this live stream. So that was the basic way of doing it with the uh, polygonal tool. So what we can do, so if you go, if you don't want to do what you've just done, you can control Z. Keep hitting control Z and that wipes it out. Now the other tool you can use is this one down here. You've got your pen tool. So make sure your pen tool selected. Okay, so we can go there. This is a little bit different. So I'll just left click there, holding shift. We can left click down here. That'll give you a straight line. Still holding shift. Left click, still holding shift, it'll give you a straight line. Left click, and then let go of shift. Left click again, now join those two dots together. That will do that, and then go back to the pen tool, put the curvature pen tool, and you can select the middle, and then you can actually drag that up, and it'll put a nice curve on it. And I've got to remember it's a little bit different using this one. So we've got that. So up here at the top, this is your fill color. So we're red, and this is your stroke color. So if we wanted to put, I don't know, a bit of silver around the outside, that will stroke the silver. Black truck, so there's no point in using that. So, I don't know, maybe a little bit of teal or something like that. And it's three pixels wide. So if it's not enough, you can left click on it, highlight it. Use your scroll wheel and adjust it that way. Or just highlight it and just type the number in that you want. Normally two to three, not 52. Two to three is what I use. Actually, we'll make it three just for the, just for the sake of it. And then, I don't know why I did that. And just press enter. All you got to do is press enter. And there you go. It's got a nice little arc on it. Easy as can be. So that's... One way I do it, and the polygonal lasso tool is the other way, if you just want to do like basic square box shapes. I won't get too into depth with putting curves on everything and doing all that sort of stuff. That's not what this is about. This is about getting the truck skin in game um, or getting a basic skin. So once you've done that, you think, holy shit, here, how am I going to make that on that side and make it exactly the same as that? Right click on shape one, duplicate layer. Okay, make sure you go to either move, this is your move tool, or your rectangular marquee. All I do is select either one of those, it doesn't matter. Right click on the shape, hit free transform. Right click on that box again, flip horizontal, and then simply move it. Just drag it. So you're holding mouse, mouse one, and you're just going to move it. Now, Photoshop's nice enough to give you lines and stuff. There are grids and stuff you can put on it. All that sort of stuff. Get it somewhere close. Photoshop normally puts it pretty close to it. Pretty close. 
So that's how you get a matching stripe on the other side. Now you can fart around if you want to bring that all the way to the end. But just remember, if you want that to go all the way to the end, um, you've got to come up here. This is the back wall of the sleeper. Now this thing is upside down. They've basically opened it like a like a can, basically. So your bonnet is here, top of your guards. That is the top of the actual roof, so it's this part. So it's separate. That's the side of the roof, the cab, if you like. That is the roof, the top view of the roof. So whatever you put on here, if you want it to overlap, you're going to have to try and line... You know, if you wanted to put the sun on here, and the top of it was cut here, so to speak, you've got to try and cut it and paste it up here and line it up. You've got to get it in the game, see if it lines up. Come back here, move it around. So this is all the stuff you've got to think about when you're skinning this truck. Now that is the top of the roof of the actual sleeper. So that's basically looking down from the top at this piece. That's this. That there is the front of the party hat. Or the top hat if you like. Would Photoshop work on a MacBook? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know, Michael. I never used Mac products, man. So, unfortunately, I can't help you. So, just remember that. So, if you want to carry that stripe to across here, it's going to be upside down. Just remember that. It can be done. and Everyone else does it. It takes a lot of time, a lot of time. I still don't know what half of this stuff is on this template, but I can tell you, that's the side of your guards. That's your headlight surrounds, obviously. It's, it's, some of it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, your headlight surrounds, um, top of your guards. Now, one thing I have noticed, that that is the top of the guard and also the top that wraps around here as well. I made, in my last skin, uh, some pinstriping that went around here, and this section here was just blurry as buggery. I don't know why. Looks easy to buy Photoshop on my PC. It is expensive, man. It, it, Photoshop comes with a lot of software, and a lot of software I use for video editing and, and obviously Photoshop for making thumbnails. For me, it's worth the money. Um, it is a very intense program to work, but once you know how, there's plenty of tutorials. Once you know how, man, it's it's quick and it's easy. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that's your main part of your cabs. Now I believe they're your visors, your painted visors, and your guards. And your guards are there. The rest of the stuff, I'm, just, I'm still working it out. But basically, basically just a matter of going along and and putting a letter on everything and see where it shows up in game. Because there's so many variants, like painted tanks, painted guards, you know, painted stripes, this, that, and the other. All these little bits and pieces. Like even inside the window cutouts, um, there's things in there, and I'm not 100% sure what they are yet. But anyway, we're not here to discuss the details of the template. It's just something to get you started. If you want to play around with it, you can. All right, so do we want to add anything else to that, or do we just want to carry on and... And I'll show you how to get it into the game. And then we can probably come back to paint.net and have a stab at it. Here's Jack. How are you, man? We may even do some trucking after this. I just wanted to get you going so you can uh, basically see how it all works. Um, say we wanted to put another shape on top of that, or like I did on one of the nine O's. So we're going to go back, get your pen tool. We can just click in there. Holding shift for a straight line. We can pull it back a bit shorter if we wanted to. No reason why we couldn't. Come up. About, about there somewhere. Holding shift. Yes, obviously it's not going to be perfect by any means. Yeah, we might just... Uh, Hold that back, and then we'll bring that down back down to there as well. Obviously, that is not going to match, but for what we're doing, it's just to give you an idea of what you can do. So the stroke and everything should still be the same. So what we're going to do is just 
press enter. Easy as that. You can change that color if you want. But coming back up here. Bam. Easy as that. Go back to red. You can have a different color. Silver on top of it if you wanted to. That's how easy it is. So once you've done that, and again, um, so using that little eyeball, that'll get rid of layers. Just temporarily, temporarily make them invisible. So it's automatically done that for some reason. So we will just delete that for a second. So that is still that. So we'll go right click on the shape to duplicate layer. Okay. And we're going to go right click, free transform, right click, flip horizontal, and then you're free to drag it. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, man. I cannot complain. So that was just left mouse. Just, you know, drag it wherever you like. Easy as that. And enter. Enter, enter. Easy peasy. Now, since we've got a black truck, we don't have to worry about doing a black bonnet. I always do a black bonnet. So if you, just for argument's sake, you want to do a black bonnet. So we'll just control and the positive. Just to zoom in a little bit, go up, and we're using the this tool here, polygonal lasso. So you can just left click, holding the shift to get straight. Now you just got to watch that little bit of a kink in it. So now I normally bring it down there, and then not holding shift or anything now. Shift's basically if you want a straight line. See, I can deviate off it, and it still gives me a straight line. Left into there. And left click into there. Left click, the little the little circle comes up. Boom. Right click, and same thing. And you can fill, and away you go. That's easy. Ah, actually, it won't let us do that. Sorry, guys. That was my mistake. Because we're still on shapes, what you actually need to do to make that black bond, sorry, take it back a step. We need to add a new layer. And now we can do so. So we can just come along. I'll just quickly do this just, just to show you. I'm not actually going to do it. So bring it along. Then you right click on it. Now it'll let us fill. So you go fill, color, color, and you want to make the bonnet black if it was a white truck or something. So just drag it down to down to the black. Okay. Press OK. Right click, deselect. We don't really need that because the truck's already black. So if you if you've done something and you don't want that there, it's quite easy. You can control Z and take the steps backwards. But if you want to start fresh, just make sure you're on the layer you want to delete. And if you're not sure and go, oh, I can't remember where I was at, Kiwi, what do I do? The little window. If you click the little eyeball, it'll tell you exactly which layer it is. So we want to get rid of that. So we just hit the trash can. Okay, done. So control and the negative on your keypad, and that'll unzoom for us. Easy as that. So that's just the basic side of it. Um, now, if you wanted to add text or something like that, quite simply, come over to the T, horizontal type tool. Easy as can be. So we want to write, say we want to put MKG on the back. So we just need to highlight that. I don't know. It's just something Photoshop does. So we'll put a caps lock on. MKG. That's our mad Kiwi gaming, obviously. I'll hit caps lock to get that back off. And basically, we have our writing. So we go back up to your move tool at the top. And that'll help us center it. Now, remembering this is upside down. So how do we fix that? Come down to your rectangular marquee tool. Right click over the top of the text. Free transform. Now we can make it larger, but it will distort the text a little bit. So what you want to do is bring your, your cursor outside that box. See when it does that little 90 degree with the two arrow heads? Left click, hold your left mouse button. And you're free to turn it. So you can turn it. Now, we don't get any little tools or anything like that to help us line it up. It's all done by eye at this stage, unless you turn on your grid. And then what we can do is press Enter. Now, that's the top part of the sleeper cab on the 
or I shouldn't say the very top, the very back wall, that section there is basically, would be this section down here. So that text is basically here on the back wall, if you understand what I mean. Now, say you don't like the colour of that. The easiest way to do that is come back over here to your mad, your MKG, double mouse, so left click basically, double it. Now you've got all these options. This is how I get my colours for my for my MKG. It's a gradient overlay. That's something I've set up. Um, it's quite easy to do. So we'll use this one for argument's sake. This is my one that I use. So if you don't have one and you want to set one up, click it. Make sure that one is highlighted. This is your gradient stuff. You've got all sorts of difference. You've got basics. These are all your gradients. So if you get my drift. So you can do all sorts. You've got blues. They do the same thing. They just gradient the colors through it. Oranges, reds. You get the idea. So if that's what you want to do, and you want to change it, that's how you do so. So we'll stick with that, because that's, that's basically mine. And you can um, put an outer glow, so it puts a little ring around the outside of it. Um, you can make it satin, if you like, so it dulls it. You can stroke it, but there's no point stroking it, because it's just going to cover up. Bevel and boss, that sort of makes it pop. It pops it off the back wall. So we'll just go OK. We'll run with that anyway. Just because we can. Alrighty. So, not getting too involved. Um, scrolls and stuff like that is um, going to get you down the track a little bit. I'll, I'll do some videos on more in-depth stuff. And I'll do it for paint.net as well. What we'll do, we'll get this going so we can show you it in-game. So if we just... Click on that little window. That'll hold all the effects and stuff. So you come back down to base. Come back up here to opacity. And you want to bring your opacity back to 100%. That is basically what the skin will look like. And basically the next step from here, you can get rid of the background. I've Sometimes I don't even worry about it. And you're going to go up to file. And we want to save as. Photoshop has cloud documents now, so we want to save on our computer. We're going to call this, we'll call it, what are we going to call it? Uh, we'll call it tuck skin, just for argument's sake. You can call it whatever you want, um, red striped, T908, blah, 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 whatever you name it here. What I normally do is left mouse, highlight it, right clip. Copy. Now we want to save this as a DDS. Now these are plugins for Photoshop. Easily found, just DDS plugins for Photoshop. Download it, boom, away you go. Or simply save it as a PNG. Pretty sure it works. That's how I save. I saved it in the test one I did with um, Paint.net, and it worked fine. So DDS. And we don't want to send it there. We want to send it somewhere that it's easy to access. So it's desktop. I've got a couple of folders I use. So we'll just get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. We'll just send it to... Yeah, I've normally got that base file. That's just a, a random, em normally an empty folder on my desktop. So we're going to save it there anyway. But now it's changed the name. Hang on. Stop for a minute, Kiwi. All right, we're just going to back out. So that's this folder here. So I'll just go into it. We want to get rid of... See, there's the T uh, the T908 I did in Paint.net, and it shows up in game. It does show up, so just don't get too sidetracked, Kiwi. Get rid of that. That empties that folder. And da -da 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 -da. where were we? Photoshop. So we'll start again. File. Save as. Save on computer, and we want to call it. Tuck skin, again, left mouse, right click, copy. DDS, where we want to save it? We want to save it to our desktop in base, so double click on base, hit save, just make, and just make sure that all your settings are as mine there. This does matter. 
this does does matter. Michael with the big F. Paint.net was the big F, man. <laughs> all right. So if you've got all that, take a screenshot on your phone. Or if you're watching this back, half your luck. We'll see if we can get this paint.net working. I'm not going to let it beat me. Kiwi's done something wrong. All right. <laughs> I shouldn't say I've done something wrong. It's exactly how I did it the other day. I opened paint.net. I made the skin. I did it. All right. So that's finished doing its thing. So that skin is done. This is where we come back to ETS2 Mod Studio. So getting those things in earlier, as we said, is... It's not critical. There's other ways you can do it. I can... Well, I've shown you other ways you can do it, and it's in my other skinning tutorial that I did. Um, the other way of doing it. All right, so what we want to do, we want to go to Skin Properties. This is where we just right-click and paste. Skin Internal Name. Remembering from earlier, Ken W908. This has to be Ken W908, regardless of whatever you want to call it. It will not work. Okay, so once that's done and your mouse starts working, an airbrush and we'll unlock it at zero, which it already was. Mouse has stopped working. Unlock it. Uh, what are we going to Why is that not working? See it income. Uh, we'll make it a dollar. Skin price. That's your skin price in game. So whenever you get a skin or something like that and it costs you 10 grand, that's that box. That's why. Um, set skin to stock. Leave everything else exactly the way it is. Exactly the way it is. All right, so truck skin. This is where we add our truck skin we just made. And this is why I was saying save it somewhere that's easy to find. So we just go up to base, tut skin, DDS, boom. And there it is, right there. Skin mask we don't worry about. Workshop icon. This you need to have something. So just I just use the default. Everything's green. So we've got our base truck is green. Skin properties, make sure everything is green before you go. And what we can do from here, you can save it directly to your mods folder, or whatever you want to do. So you just want to go export mod. Again, right click, paste, touch skin. We don't want it, don't let it put DDS in there. It's got to be an SCS. We are basically creating the SCS file that we need. Easy as that. Yeah, I save that to base, right? So we just up here. And there is our file there. So we can just right click on it, copy, documents, American truck, mod, right click, paste. Touch skin is in there. That is done. We can minimize that. Just give me a minute. I'll have to plug my steering wheel in. I'll keep my steering wheel off so I can see what I'm doing and staring at my screen. So just bear with me a second as I bash my microphone to death. Plug the steering wheel in, turn him on, and get this in game and show you. All right, steering wheel is underway. Graham, Paul, how are you, man? Doing all right, doing all right. Just a little, uh, something different for tonight. We'll get this sorted out, and then we might come back and have a look at this paint.net. Like I said. It's not an expert level. Not an expert level. But it'll get you there. So you want to go to Mod Manager. Ooh. Yeah, we just got to find our skin. Have a look up here. Paint.net T908. Now we're looking for, where is it? Where's our tut skin? There's our tut skin right there. So we just double click on it. I'll need to get rid of that. And away we go. Yeah, doing good, man. Doing good, doing good. I haven't seen you for a while, man. Good to see you anyway. 
Oh, Trucker's MP. He's been updated, fellas. We'll definitely have to do some Trucker's MP. Handle to go for lights on the tripod. Um, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that stuff to show up from overseas, man. Just everything in stores at the moment is just a freaking rip-off at the moment. And after the stream last Saturday night, our car shit itself, as a few of you will know. Don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, so obviously money's going to be a little bit tight at the moment, so we're going to put some money in to get a new car and et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, there's our skin, guys. That has shown up, so that's a good. What sort of a tutorial would it be if it didn't have a freaking skin show up? Oh, work sort of flattened out a little bit, man. It really has flattened out. Some days are good. No, well, so, you know, like three or four hours one day, you might get eight the next. It's it's not as good as it could be, but I'm still working, so. All right, come on, mouse. Oh, bit of lag. Well, there you go. That has shown up in-game. So that's what it looks like in-game. Just to give you an idea, and you've got the MKG around the back. Easy as that, guys. Easy as that. Johnny Gamer Gamer, how are you, man? So that's a basic skinning tutorial to get you going. With the basics, with Photoshop, like I said, um, there's plenty of tutorials how to use Photoshop and whatnot um, to get more in-depth with stuff. But that's the basics to get you going. And away you go. It's, it's pretty much as easy as that, guys. Doesn't actually look too bad in black. Not bad at all. Not too bad at all. Alright, so just... We're going to go back for a second. Now, if you're doing skinning and stuff, and you're backwards and forwards between Photoshop and the game and stuff, you've got to make sure um, the game's either closed, or what I normally do is go in between my profiles. So I'll sit here, and I'll just Alt-Tab, drop out, so that way it's in between profiles so you can still access your uh, mod manager in and out without it having a hiccup because it, it will basically stop you from doing it. Uh, not just yet, men. If you read the title, we're doing some skinning stuff just for a few people that have asked for it. Um, but we are having a few issues. Um, I may stop this stream well, once this side of it's done. And we might do some trucking or something. Absolutely. I just want to come back to this and visit this quickly. So if you're watching this back as a video, um, I do apologise if you're here for the paint.net and the guys that are here for paint.net now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it. Let's see if we can do this again. Close paint.net altogether. So I open it again. I did, I did exactly, I haven't done anything different. I don't know why it's doing it. Maybe it's, oh, hang on. I should have tried the BNP, because we used the PNG. Let's just try the BNP. That looks different. The template looks a lot cleaner. It's not as huge, but where? Where's my little layer thing? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, so if, you'd <laughs> if you're as shit at it as Kiwi is, you got to click this little icon up here. That gives you your layers. Alright, so now we can build on this, guys. So if you're here for paint.net, let's have a crack at this and see if Kiwi can stuff this royally right up. Okay, so background is our background. That's our template. So we want to add a new layer. Okay? This will be our base color. So if you're still here for the paint.net, guys, I'll slow down a minute, let you catch up, and we'll see what we can do. So this will be our color of our truck. So if we want to um, try and replicate what we just did, we had a black truck before, right? So that's still set on black. But if you want to change it, this is where you change your color, right here. Alrighty. I was just thinking that. So I'd opened the PNG. I don't know why I opened the PNG one. 
Um, so make sure it's the BMP template, and then you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, we're gonna, we probably will, man. Like I said, I'll probably stop this stream because this is a skinning stream, and I will restart, and we'll we'll possibly do some trucking. Uh, what's tonight? Is Saturday night. Uh, we might even do something tomorrow. I might do some truckers MP or something like that tomorrow night. Anyway, so if you're catching back up, we want. Want to go back? You can even click down there, grab that, go to your paint bucket. Simply click over the top of it. Boom. Easy as that. Enter. Done. That is your base layer. So we're on paint bucket. So we can go back up up here. Back up here to this. And then we want to lower our opacity. So you basically, back over here, make sure that layer is still hollowed, which it will be. Click the little spanner. Choose your properties. Go to opacity. Bring your opacity in, just so you can see the template behind it. Once that is done, we want to add a new layer. Because we're building, everything's built in layers with Photoshop and Paint.net. All right. So... Just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to... Actually, probably shouldn't do that. Shouldn't turn me wheel off while the game's running. I'll try and work around it. I don't know if it's going to cause any hiccups for me when I go back into the game. All right, so we want to... add some stripes or something like that. All right? Same as what we did. I don't know exactly how to replicate what we did in Photoshop with Paint.net. Sorry guys, I am going to take the steering wheel off because I can't see what I'm doing. Get in my way. If it causes me problems in the game, I'll sort it out. Alright, so you've clicked on this little doohickey down here. And doohickey is what we'll call it. So your brush, brush width. So this will be how thin or thick the line is. So if you want something a little bit bolder, we'll start with say 60. Now you've got different styles up here. So this is just a square, basically a square line. You can use an arrow, so it'll actually show up as an arrow or rounded. So this side will be rounded. And we can do the same when we finish. That side will be rounded. And you can have a solid line in between it. So it'll, it'll fill a solid line across the template. Dashes, dotted, dash dot, etc., etc. So you, this is the sort of stuff you can play around with. If we can get it to go back here. All right, so you want to click on a spot where you want it. So click on it once. Hang on. Now we want to undo that. So this is the undo button. No, nope, we don't want to do that either. It's probably not all that bloody fat, really, is it? We might change that. Do -do -do. We might change it to about 70. i got to remember how to do this. Why is it not coming out? To, oh, I don't even know what I'm bloody doing. You can move it around doing that. Hang on. I was doing this the other day, and it was fine. At least we got this far anyway. Um, we're on the right layers. Just making sure I'm on the right layers, because that can cause us a few problems. It can cause us a few problems. I'm just going to have a drink of my coffee. Let me put that up on the mouse pad so it's a little bit closer. Why can't I get this thing to do what I want it to do? Now, yeah. if we change... The other thing I forgot to do, guys, we've got to change the colour. So we go with, we'll go with red again. I don't know how to stroke things on uh, paint.net. That's something you guys will have to... Like I said, plenty of tutorials out there. Plenty. All right. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, we have a line anyway. Why can't it? This freaking mouse, I tell you. I've worked out what's going on. It's, it's, my, it's my mouse. Here we go. So I'm just holding left mouse. So if you want that straight, hold shift again. And let go of both left mouse button. 
And what we can do is press enter. And if you want to go again, we can bring, uh, so left click again, holding it down. Yeah, something's not quite right. Something's having a bit of a hissy fit. So if you're happy with where that is, you can just press enter and it's fine. Or you can move it around. She's a bit laggy, actually. So to get that adjustment, and press enter. Now, you can zoom in. So you come up to your magnifying glass. That's not even going to do anything for me, is it? Come on. So, yeah, here we go. So you click on the magnifying glass, click on the job. Right click, zoom out, left click, zoom in. So we'll go back to a little doohickey tool again. What else can we add on there? So we can just, I don't know. I honestly don't know. We can probably just maybe bring that down. If you're happy with that, press enter. I've got to remember how to um, copy and paste on this thing too. But you get the idea. This is a general idea. I just want to more so to give um, the guys that have been asking just a bit of a starter of where to, ha and how to get started. Like doing this, the creative side of things, it all comes down to yourself, knowing what tools to use, trial and error. I reckon the hardest part about skinning is getting it to sharpen game. But once you know the names and the, the structures and stuff like that, it's easy, man. All right, so let's see if we can, there you go, duplicate layer. Okay, so we've duplicated it. Now, how do we flip it? How do we get it over here? Mouse will start working. Layers. Let's see if it works similar to Photoshop. So we want to flip it horizontal, right? And there you go. Just like that. Easy as that. It's probably a little bit easier than Photoshop. So what did I do? I created the new layer. Sorry. I duplicated the layer. That automatically did it. And then you go over to Layers and simply flip horizontal. Boom. And it does it automatically for you. Um... So, I haven't done text or anything like that in paint.net for a while. Let's have a crack at this. Let's see what we end up with. Okay, so that's our font style. So, you, I don't know. Um, we'll leave it that size for now. It's probably going to be a little bit small at 12. What do we get at 36? So, if you have a look at the cursor here, the way it's moving is sort of a rough indication, I guess on the size of the text. So MKG, caps lock on, MKG. So that's quite small in comparison to Photoshop numbers. So what we'll do, we'll come back down, we'll go 192. MKG, that's a little bit better. Now does this work the same as Photoshop? If you highlight it, there we go, use your scroll wheel. I'm just scrolling back on my scroll wheel. 288 seems to be about the limit. Just press enter. No, don't press enter. Just press beside it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, is we've got the move tool. Yep, so that's a little bit. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. See what that was doing? It's moved the whole lot. It's moved the whole lot. Because that MKG has basically made itself part of that left stripe. So how do we fix that? All right, so we'll go undo, undo again, undo. That gets rid of the text. So don't panic if that stripe disappears straight away. Just keep pressing undo. And what we'll do is come back, start a new layer. Now, Photoshop automatically creates a new layer when you start text. So with paint.net, we have to do it manually. So we should be golden to write MKG. And then we'll come to our little movie move tool. Move him around. That is really laggy for some reason. All right. 
press enter. So we want to layers. We want to flip vertical. And it's moved it all the way. Why have you put it down there for? Can we drag that up? I don't know if we can do that or not. I don't know if it's going to have any form of interference with our... I'm just going to quickly... No, we should be okay. Should be okay. Right. Like I said, just a basic get us going. Alrighty, so come back down to your layer 2, which was your base colour. Click on the spanner to opacity. Bring that back up. 255. Okay. So that's right. And you want to click on your background. Now we want to file up here. Save as. Now, same again. We'll call it tutorial skin or tut skin. You can name this whatever you like. So it can be... Um, like I said, red stripe Tino on our way. It can be Kermit's green hat. It can be the name of your dog. It can be whatever you want it to be here. Absolutely anything you want. So it will highlight that. So holding left mouse, right click, copy. Now, as you can see, we have DDS here. You can save it as a PNG and it will show up but we have DDS. Now, when I did it the other day in the test, it show, as you saw, as, uh, as I showed you earlier, it showed up as a PNG because I used the PNG template, not the BMP. So by using the BMP, we have a direct door, draw surface. So we want to select that. Now we can save it to templates and we'll save it again to our desktop. So back to our base. Now, if we put this as tutorial skin one, that'll try and stop it from replacing that. Uh, Justin, yeah, been pretty good, man. Sorry, man. How about yourself, Blake? Doing all right, man. Doing all right. How's yourself, man? So we've got that saved. We're going to save to our base, which is our desktop. So we're going to go save. Um, Make sure you've got these settings, because this is what works for me. So there's no reason why it shouldn't work for you. And I have only recently downloaded Paint on it again, so it should be the same. So once you've got all that, press OK, and you want to flatten. Let it do its thing. All right, again, once that is saved, so that's just a lid on my coffee. Now best thing to do here to close this out I've found it has a little bit of conflict and it does some weird stuff and uh, not a hundred percent sure what we're gonna do yet man to be honest okay so ETS 2 I need to drag this out and set it up on the desktop easier so I don't have to go on that file been a long 14 hour shift but it's been alright oh big day man big day all right so we want to go back again to the T908. Skin properties. Like I said, you can name this um, whatever you like. Skin internal name. Ken W908. Has to... I think we're going to play this game, aren't we? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I know why. I know why. It's... Make sure your caps lock is not on. Make sure your caps not is not on. So you basically can't write in there in caps. This is just a uh, basic skinning tutorial, man. I've done the Photoshop uh, basics, how to get it in game, and we've just done the Paint.net, how to get it in game, basic. Just a basic starter for everyone. Unlock level, we want one. Skin price, a dollar. Uh, leave all that airbrush, set skin to stock, leave it all the same. Make sure everything's green up here so far, which it is. Now we want to go truck skin, browse. Like I said, save it in an easy place. 
tutorial skin one. We want to open. Give it a minute to load. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. I thought we were gonna have a hick out there. So there's your skin. Basic is basic. Workshop iPhone use and default. Now we want to export mod. And we will right click in this box again and we will paste. But we will put a one at the end of it. Alrighty. And it's a zip file and that is going to save it to our base again so we can save again. And that should show up in base. And we want the SCS file, so we just left click on it to highlight it, right click, copy, documents, American truck, mod, right click over to the side, paste, and done. Right, Kiwi will plug his steering wheel back in. Hopefully, ATS won't have a hissy fit and say that it's been disconnected, etc., etc. So we'll see how this goes. So just give me a second. Get that wheel power up. Hopefully the game won't go. All if you don't, Kiwi. All right, so we're in between profiles. This allows you to still access your mod folder when you're on the outside, basically. Now, toot skin or tut skin. That is the one we did with Photoshop. So here's the one we just done with paint.net. So double click on it and we can double click on touch skin. That'll take it out of our active mods. Confirm changes. Continue game. Hopefully nothing crashes. And yes, we know because we just took that out. Well, it hasn't run exactly smooth like I'd planned it. But that's the jaws of live streaming. But if it gets... One person. That's all I'm worried about. Even just one person to be able to create something and get it in game, then mission successful. Ooh, that's just my old USBs that I had going. There you go. Easy as that, guys. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs> There's no way you'd believe it. Oh, I've learned a little bit about paint dot again tonight. All right, we'll get this get this loaded in. We'll have a look at it, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. All right, well, she's a little bit slow. There you go. Easy as that. So you can play around with paint on that. So long as that gives you a, a bit of a guide. Like I said, there are a lot of people out there that do Photoshop and paint.net tutorials on the tools used to do certain things. Um, Paulie's done it. Um, there's, a, there's quite a few out there on YouTube, guys. I'll leave a link in the description for a guy that I watched. Um, originally for paint.net and it's incredible to watch he's good how to install RDA mod trucks how to install RTA's mod trucks so you've downloaded them in so just yeah so that's that's it guys it's it's not that difficult it all comes down to how creative you are basically and well there there you go. MKG on the on the back. It's mirrored. So we need to fix that. So we'll just escape through. Alt tab. Just for a quick second. Go back to paint.net. Okay, so no, what you what you can do, and I probably should have saved as a PDN. Probably should have saved it as a PDN. So, when you're getting ready, guys, and you've, you know, you've done your done your skin, and it asks you to save it, always save.
first a copy as your PDN. I should have I should have done this to start with. This is a noob mistake when it comes to paint.net. This is why I've made it because I am a noob with paint.net. Before you proceed with the you know the direct draw DDS saving saving the yada 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 and all that sort of stuff. Save it as a PDN. That way you can always come back to it and make changes. So if you come back, make a change, um, save it as a PDN, then save it as your DDS and export it or save it to um, send it to your ETS to Mod Studio. Make sure you do that first. So I can't iterate that enough. Save it as a PDN. So you can come back and if you want to add more to it, you can. Because at the moment we can't because all we have is our background. We can't build from there. So that's about it. Yes, I have done that. So you've downloaded them. You need to unzip the men. So you'll need WinRAR or 7-zip. And you basically right-click on the download. So your zip folder that you've downloaded. Open it with WinRAR. And it should have the .scs files. You should have the three parts. So it's a 908, the Western Star, or anything like that. Um, the K108, the K200, it'll have um, three files inside it for your truck, which are your .scs files. And you'll also have a couple of other bits and pieces uh, zipped up, which will be all your templates and stuff like that. You must have the .scs files in your game, uh, in your mods folder. So that's about the gist of it, guys, for Paint.net and Photoshop. So we can come back here if we wanted to add something to this, because Photoshop's a little bit different and does some other strange things. So we can keep building on this. It's no dramas at all. We can come down here, we can add another layer, and away we go. I'm going to do some more stuff in, in videos so I can go a little bit more in depth. Um, that way I can actually concentrate on it, get it all all right, so the information that I'm giving you guys is is good, basically. Without any little hiccups and Kiwi getting shit wrong. So uh, hopefully this has helped a couple of you, or a few of you, or even just one of you. Um, get it down to get it in game. So we'll just come back down. Just call Wickerly to our mod studio. Go to the little gear icon. Go to options. Go to truck database. Now if you wanted to add a mod truck, you go to add truck. So we'll go K200, edit truck. So I'll pause here for a couple of minutes if you want to copy that down. Like I said, truck name can be anything. That has to be Ken 200. That is the internal name that the game needs to read so it knows it's for that truck. Otherwise, it will not show up. Um, take a screenshot, pause it when you play this back. That's the information you need. And then once you've got all that information entered in your studio, save truck template. That's all you have to do. And then you can close that out. And then we've done the 908, the Western Star. We want to edit truck. Western style, like I said, anything up here, 4800W. That has to be 4800W. RTA can be whatever you like. So I put it down as RTA because it's their truck. And then, again, copy this down. That's the different cab variants. And then once you've got all that copied down again, save truck template. Uh, what else have we got? K108. Edit truck. You don't have to edit truck or anything like that. Um, sleeper A, sleeper B. Easy. Ken 108. Internal name. Like again, as I said before, whatever you like up here, that's fine. Copy that down. Once you've done that, save template. Easy as that, guys. Easy as that. Well, I hope that helped a couple of you. Michael's down for MP. Yeah, they got it fixed.
because I was looking at their blog and they said um, it'll be updated soon. And then someone posted in one of the pages. I don't know where it was. Um, yeah, um, it's up and running. I was like, hey, what? How does that work? How does that bloody work? But anyway, we're probably going to pull this uh, live stream. So I, it, it was a little bit hit and miss, guys. I do apologise. Um, it doesn't matter how much you practice something, you can't you can't prepare for a live stream and not have something go wrong. <laughs> not for me anyway. It wouldn't be a Kiwi live stream. But if it has helped you, please leave a like. It really does help the channel. Um, like I said, if we've helped one, one person, happy days. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's all I set out to do. So without uh, dragging this out any longer than it needs to be, um, I'll leave it there. I might come back and do some trucking. I'm going to uh, take 20 minutes out for myself. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you soon.